It's sizzle, sizzle man, me. Oh, sizzle, sizzle man, me. I got my swimsuit today. I tried it on and it took me away. Sizzle, sizzle man, me. Oh, sizzle. Sizzle man, me is going to be me and Neymar and Aldrick too. Nico, Shard and Jeffrey, U. Johnny, Reby and Roderick, Derek, Mac and Lance. That's it. Sizzle, sizzle man, me. Oh, sizzle, sizzle man, me. Remember what goes on in Miami, stays in Miami. I don't want to see it on Facebook or tweets. That's the quickest way to get your ass beat. Sizzle, sizzle man, me. Oh, sizzle, sizzle man, me. Woo, S-I-Z-Z-L-L-E. -L -L -E. M I A M I, that's me. D W I G H T P O W E L, that's he. Sizzle, sizzle man, me. Oh, sizzle, sizzle man, me. Come on down and get your life today. It will be fun. You'll say hooray. Come on here and be with me. Skinny, big, we accept all of we. Sizzle, sizzle man and me. Oh, sizzle, sizzle man and me. I believe, you know, if I was lady, see? Lettucey was saying something like, do 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 Miami. You know, if I was Luther Vandross, I believe Luther was saying it like, Sizzle Miami. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Mm. You know, if I was, um, Patty Bell. I believe Patty was singing like, Somebody, please, please tell me what's wrong. I caught my man and see he so what you say. He was with another girl. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. And if I, I believe if I was, who, 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 who do I believe if, if I, if I, if I was Marvin Sapp. Sizzle saw the best in me. Mm. When all these homos was around, they all came and talked to me. <laughs> Can I get one more witness one more time? Sizzle saw the best in me. <clears throat> yeah, God. 
with all these sissies around, they all wanted to talk to me. <laughs> Can I tell you one more time? <laughs> so, you know, I can't think of anybody else to be right now, but, you know, um, if, I, if I was Anita Baker, Anika would say, yeah. <laughs> Alexander Bonet. I'm your boy, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. So let's get the house cleaning rules out of the way. Make sure, I don't know what side it's on. I guess I should do it. Make sure you follow me wherever, wherever the subscribe button is. Make sure you follow me. Um, please subscribe. It doesn't talk, It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Sizzle Miami, subscribe to me. You know what I'm saying? So please subscribe. Down at the bottom, you'll find all the leaks, links to my Twitter, my Facebook, uh, my photography company, all that good stuff. So make sure you um, do all of that. So today is Tuesday. I want to say the 8th of May, I believe. I don't know what today's date is. Let me get on my, my MacBook Pro and look at the date. And it's not telling me, so I don't know what the hell today is. Um, can, we, can I get a date? Yes, it's Tuesday, May 8th. It's approximately 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm about to get ready to go to the gym in a little while. Because, you know, Sizzle, if you don't know, is coming up. Now, this is my follow-up to my initial Sizzle video. Um, or my initial for this year's Sizzle 2012 video. And let me tell you. In the midst of my menagerie and all of this good stuff, God is so wonderful. You know, he puts people in your life uh, to, you know, to to benefit you, for you to benefit them, things of that nature. So, to make a long story short, because anybody that knows me knows that I am a talker. So, I'm not going to prolong this. Hopefully, this will not be a long video. But I do have a couple of things that I want to express to you. Um, make a long story short, um... You know, I did my video, and I put it up. When I do videos, I do it solely for the entertainment, first off, of me. Because I am I can keep myself entertained. I don't need any friends. It's great to have friends, but I can entertain myself all day long. If you can't tell, you know, I'm, I was when I, my degree is in theater. Um, and I, I, I love entertaining myself. So, I mean, you know, more ways than one. You know. Anyways. Um, <laughs> but, um... I put the video up to say, you know, to express my love for Sizzle. Uh, like I said, I've been to several prides, but Sizzle is my favorite. I make no bones about it. Sizzle is my favorite. Um, so, uh, my friend on Facebook, Mr. Daniel Simba uh, Hoya. I think I'm saying his last name right. Um, saw my video, and he liked it. And you know, I was like, cool, thanks so much. But he tagged it to Dwight Powell, who is the founder, CEO, and owner of Sizzle Miami Incorporated. So a shout out to Dwight Powell. Um, now, mind you, I've been trying to be friends with Dwight for the past two years. But Dwight is a popular man. When you have the most successful pride, urban pride, I don't even want to say urban pride, but the most successful pride known to man, of course, you're going to have other, you know, friend, a lot of friend requests. So, Dwight, 
you might want to get a second Facebook page. So, like, it'd be like Dwight Powell 2 or whatever. But uh, I've been trying to be friends with Dwight for the longest. I know for the past two years. And it always said, this user has too many friend requests. So I can never, you know, I subscribe to him so I can see his updates, but I can never befriend him. And so uh, Daniel tagged my video to Dwight. And I never thought he would see it or whatever the case may be. Uh, but he saw it and he liked it. I mean, he, he, he liked it. And he sent, he befriended me on Facebook, and I was like, oh my God, Dwight befriended me on Facebook. And it is kind of, you know, I know Dwight is a mere man. We're all, all celebrities are mere man. But for a person to go um, from studying business at Florida State and founding, like I said, the most successful pride, starting it as a grassroots effort and building it up to what it is now, you know, that's that due diligence. He put the work in for it, and we're all reaping the benefits because we're able to go down and have a wonderful time. But he befriended me or whatever, and I was kind of like starstruck. I was like, damn, Dwight? Me? Really? I'm just little old me. You know, um, I'm okay in the gay pageantry world. You know, everybody knows Sebastian Bonet, the Sebastian Bonet. And, you know, in the pageantry world, but, you know, in the regular hetero, you know, in the regular gay world, and I'm just another bitch on the block, you know? Um, but, um, well, not on the block. I don't do the prostitution, so, um, well, that actually would be the corner. But the corner is a part of the block. But, okay, neither here nor there. Um, so he befriended me, and he sent me a message saying, I utterly love the video. Thanks for the shout-out, da 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 And so, you know, in my video, I was saying that I was staying at the element. And he was like, well, why aren't you staying at the Hyatt? And I was like, well, I work for a hotel, and, you know, that's where we're staying, or whatever the case may be. And he was like, I got you. You and your crew, I got you. Y'all coming to the Hyatt. And, you know, I was like, first off, is this really Dwight? Now, is this a bot? You know, on Facebook, you get the bots, and bitches start talking and saying, hi, my name is Susie, and I'm really horny, and it's coming from my gay best friend. I'm just like, okay, girl, change your password. And I was like, okay, is this really Dwight? And he was like, yes, this is Dwight. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I was like, you know, a bitch like me, you know, I'm appreciative. You know, my mother always taught me, if anybody does anything for you, be appreciative. Say thank you. It doesn't take anything to smile and say thank you. And so I was like, oh, girl, thank you. Girl, ha, hallelujah. You know, I've always wanted to stay at the host hotel, but, you know, I'm like, you know, girl, you know, a little expensive, and I can't afford that, especially when I can get a nice, you know, $69, $79 rate with the employee rate, girl. And I go stay like two or three miles away. But he was like, I got you. I got you. Like Kevin Hart say, it's about to go down. And he invited us over, me and my crew over. So, um, myself, um, Neymar, Lance, Shard, um, who else? Johnny, Reby. Uh, pretty much everybody that I named in the beginning of the song, that's the re side note, that is the part two, that's the remix to Sizzle Miami 2012, you can find it on iTunes, nigga, um, yeah, the jazz version, um, but anyways, um, uh, we're all going over there, he gave us a really good deal, just to say thank you, and it means a lot to me, when you have a person that owns you know, sizzle, or owns anything, you just kind of like customer appreciation, where they can give back, you know, thank you for, like, I've been coming for the past eight years, and when they can say, you know, I appreciate your business, I appreciate you coming, so, you know, this is what, you know, I'm gonna extend this to you, you know what I'm saying, now, side note, bitches, don't y'all come out trying to make no video, and sing a song to get on Dwight Goodside, bitch, he done already gave the one away for this year, he done, he, he, he done already did his charity work for this year, and that's on me, yes, bitch, I will be the charity case, this year, yes, but call me what you want, charity, homeless, whatever. I am at the host hotel, huh? Yes, yes, catching the chateau would be full, drunk as a skunk, because I don't have to have a designated driver. I'm normally the designated driver, but not this year. <laughs> not this year. Somebody else is going to drive me on the shuttle. So don't try to come up here making no videos and talking to White saying, Oh, I saw Sebastian video. What you? Nah, bitch, it's me. It's me. Try again next year. Okay? Let's make that clear. Okay? We, he, he only did one handout, and I'm the motherfucker he gave the handout to. Um, so, um, he was like, come on over. And I was like, thank you. And I got my confirmation. I talked to the Sizzle staff, and I got my confirmation for the two rooms for my family. I mean, my, you know, not my family, but my people. My Well, Nehemiah's my best friend. He's my family. Um, that's coming down, and 
we're going to be at the host hotel. So make sure you follow me on Twitter. Because, baby, I'm about to blow her up. Or follow me on Grindr. Uh, yeah. um, because, baby, I am going to be tweeting and twatting all over the place. Be taking pictures of these wretched girls, honey. And posting them. Girl, I might have a wish best dress and worst dress and an in-between dress and just a bitch that need a dress, you know, because you're going to come through with skinny jeans and heels, but you're going to have full face you have. Bitch, you just need to put on a dress and call it a day. Anyways, um, so shout out to Dwight Powell once again from the bottom of my heart, uh, Mr. Powell, um, for, a, like I said, for an African-American gay male to be an entrepreneur um, is a rarity. You know what I'm saying? To start an initiative. And I, and I can respect that from a person owning my own photography and graphic design company, which is What's T Photography and Graphic Creations, LLC. Um, you know, I got to do a plug my own self. Um, I understand and I respect the hard work and dedication that goes into it because sometimes you feel like, you know, I'm sure the first couple of years, are people are going to come? You know, are they going to receive this well? Are they going to uh, patronize me? And my thing is this. When you have a good product, People do not mind spending money on you. That's like going anywhere. If you go to McDonald's, Waffle House, Six Flags over Georgia, wherever you go, and you have a bad experience, you don't, it makes you think twice about patronizing that um, establishment again. But when you have a place that pretty much rolls out the red carpet, shuts Miami down for the gays to where you can have come and have a, a, a nice, fun, safe, safe environment to where you can have be your authentic self it's a wonderful thing so mr powell to you and this is not because he hooked me up he's saying oh shout me out no this is from me because like again my mother said when somebody does something for you it does not take anything to say thank you it does not take anything to express your sincerity um and your humbleness to the person that helped you you know especially when they didn't have to do it the world owes you shit honey the world, some people have that chip on the shoulder where I am that I am. This, bitch, the world owes you shit, honey. You get out there and survive the best way you know how. So if you have that arrogance chip on your shoulder that the world owes me something, baby, you sadly have life fucked up because the world owes you nothing. So, when there is a good thing that comes your way, when karma comes your way in a positive way, say thank you. See how easy that was? Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. So, on that note, that's pretty much about it. So, Sizzle's coming up. We got all of less than two weeks ago. I'm excited. But I'm decided there's some things that we all should know. You know, whatever, whatever. Um, just a tad tidbit you on. You know, at the bottom here, there's going to be a link to my uh, other video called The Art um, of Fleeting. Because it's important. You know, I'm a versatile brother. I'm versatile. I'm top and bottom. I like it both. I like the dick. I love the ass. Love the nut. Love the cum. Well, not in me because that's nasty. I mean, we already had that conversation. Um, you know, I'm an out loving gay man. I'm kind of vulgar, but, you know, it's me. I'm still God loving, God fearing, all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, hey, this is going to be your best friend, Bottoms, over the weekend. Are you ready? Get your fleet bottle. Fleet bottle. Fleet. 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 Fleet, 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 fleet. Bottoms. Even tops. You should invest in these because you might have a bottom that comes over that they might, you know, might be a spur the moment thing. You might need to send them in the bathroom. Give this to them as a parting gift. Before we can get started, go ahead and part your gift in the toilet. So, um, keep your fleet bottles. Keep them in your bag. Let me tell you what I do. I don't like the fleet stuff because it's really strong. And the thing about it is, let me give you, let me give you a thing. You know, second thing. I'm going to give you a demonstration. This is my toy. Yes, I love toys. This is my plastic pussy. Yes, yeah, see, she... You know, some of y'all girls are small like this. And then some of y'all girls are wide like this, honey. The Mariana Trench, honey. The Chesapeake Bay. Baby, no walls. That's how wide some of y'all is. And if so, you need to have you need to go have a vaginal plasty, which is when you, you get your vaginal walls reconstructed because it's just loose and flabby like boop. Oh, what the hell was that? Was that? Oh, oh, oh. Right, maybe I should have cleaned it before I used it. Anyways, um, who? Um, Fleet. I know this is a pussy, but just pretend it's your ass, because some of y'all call it your pussy anyways. You put this, you take the little green cap off, boop. You get this, and you insert it, ever so gently, 
And then you squeeze. I'm not going to squeeze because this is real. I need this fleet hunt. I'm probably bringing her with me. And you squeeze and you clean yourself out utterly. Now, let me tell you. Side note. Some of y'all girls don't understand this. When you use this, this is a, a laxative. It cleans the walls of your, um, of your uh, vagina. Uh, but what you need to do, one thing you need to remember is that you need to rinse at least six times once you use this. Because what happens is, this is the laxative. It clings to the walls of your small intestines and your vagina. And what happens is, you use it and you, 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 know, you shit and you think that's it. But what happens is, baby, it still has a remnant. It still is sitting on the wall. So you could be in the middle of having sex. Good gutter bucket sex just banging your back out, honey. He got you in a chokehold like this, honey. And he just banging your back out. But then all of a sudden, you do, you do that. Yeah, you, you're going, oh, yeah, daddy, get it. Oh, uh, yeah, daddy, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. That means the shit is still working inside of you, literally. This clings to your walls. And so, while you're having sex, it's still working because it has not fully been rinsed out of your system. So, while you're having a very festive moment, you're about to have a really shitty moment. Yeah, yeah. I can stake my life on it. So, once you, you once you use the bathroom, get it with some warm water, as warm as you can stand it, and rinse at least six times to make sure you get all of the remnants out of your, you know, your anal, whatever the politically correct term, your bujana, boy pussy, whatever you want to call it, your ass. Clean it out because I would hate to be, even though I will definitely be using, you know, one of these or, you know, one of these. Or oh, the couture kind. One of these. The little circuit kinds. This is couture. You know, this is by um, uh, Yves Saint Laurent. You know what I'm saying? That's what the real girls use. You know what I'm saying? The the, the custom condoms. The CCs. Um, but when I pull out, I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to be at the barnyard with the cow manure and stuff. So, um, I don't want you to be a Picasso, a painter. You know, I, I will beseech you. Yes, beseech. Education, Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. Yes, beseech. I would beseech you to go in there, use this. Tops, use this. Pray over, make your condoms anointed. Yes, ask the Lord to come in to, that they don't break. You know, things of that nature. Spray them with a little olive oil. That could be your lube. Yes, olive oil. Yes, you know, when the pastor come and anoint your head, you get a little Pam, you know, Pam, um, the spray kind, that could be your lube, olive oil. Because the olive oil, I guess, is biblical. Jesus used the olive oil. He anointed and casted out demons. And we're going to cast out STDs, chlamydia, HIV, gonorrhea, herpes. Just cast them out. Just cast them out. Name them. Call them one by one. That's what the Bible says. You got to call them. Call those demons out. So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really about it. I just wanted to say thank you. You know, this is my sizzle video. Fleet. That's the optive word of the day. Fleet. Please follow me on Twitter at Sebastian Bonet. S E B A S T I A N B O N E T. Um, because yeah, we're gonna be tweeting a lot. Follow me. I might be the official voice of Sizzle. You know, they have the pretty boys on there and this, that, you know, the body boys. And I'm almost a body boy. I'm just a ba. I don't have the complete body. I just have the ba. And then hopefully in a little while I have the body. And then I have the body real soon. But uh, I just have the ba. But I would love to be the official. Do I? I would love to be the official spokesperson of Sizzle. You know, it's cute having the body boys on there. But I think, you know, not saying they're not educated. But I think, you know, having a plus size Lane Bryant wearing, you know, Ashley Stewart wearing kind of brother on there um, will really get the big boy market. Because, you know, the boys with bodies are automatically going to come. But with me being your spokesperson, you know, I can be um, I can be the new, you know, Jennifer Hudson. If you want it, I got it. You got to believe I did it and you can do it with Weight Watchers or no. With Sizzle, Miami. If you want it, I got it. I hate that commercial. If I see that bitch one more time, I think I'm going to just scratch my eyes out. Whew. Anyways. um, But, you know, yeah. 
I could be. Can, can, can you see it, everyone? You know what I'm saying? This gorgeous smile. These half waist sickeningly, because I have not done my eyebrows recently. Um, this flawless, immaculate skin, even though I have a 5 o'clock shadow coming in. Um, you know, can you see me being the spokesperson for Sizzle? Being very articulate. You know, being able to, to pronounce and um, articulate and, uh, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Uh, project the, the, the feeling and the atmosphere of Sizzle onto you to get you excited about coming to Miami. Do you, do, you, do you understand? Do you fathom what I am talking about? Are you able to comprehend the words that are coming out of my mouth? You know? Um, but anyways, think about it, Dwight. You know? You know me? The, the, not necessarily the face, you know? But the voice of Sizzle being able to, you know, get the word out there. Be the mouth piece. <laughs> the mouth piece. Of sizzle. I use my mouth on many pieces. No. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. <sighs> Bless me, Lord. Okay. So, anyways, make sure y'all follow me, subscribe, leave your comments at the bottom, give me some thumbs up, tag this to your friend's account. Yes, that's really about it. I am so excited. I don't think I'm missing anything to tell you. Um, I, I am officially Team Hyatt. Oh, I, for, I forgot a shout out. And I put him in my song, but I told him the next time that I do a video, I would definitely shout him out. To my favorite. And I guess it would just be inappropriate to say, because, you know, he's my homie and I love him. But to my favorite atheist in the, in the whole wide world, Derek McMowan or Derek Mack. On Facebook, he's coming down. This is like year four for him, I believe. And I didn't shout him out on the other video, but I'm doing it now. Derek, Derek, he is also, he's my sans, if you will, because we graduated at the same time, fall 2010, from the prestigious Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University on the, that sits on the highest of seven hills, founded October 3rd, 1887, by two school teachers and ten students. Yes. Eh. The largest historically black college and um, university in the nation by landmass and by population. Um, Derek will be down and we will be on Team Hyatt. He already told me what floor he wants to be on. I'm going to try to be by his floor because we've already talked about some things. So, um, everybody else that, that I don't, you know, if I forgot you, you know, please charge it to my head and not my heart. Because like I say, I am a man of a certain age. Um, and that's really about it. Um... If you want to get in contact with me, tweet me, email me at simply sickening, yes, at gmail.com. S I P L Y S I C K N I N G dot com. I mean, at gmail.com. If you have not, you know, decided if you're coming to Sizzle or DC, baby, I will stake my life. You need to come to Sizzle. Come to Sizzle, come get you a piece of the good life. Now, I was told that there is an announcement that's going to come out. Now, I don't know what the announcement is. You know, but there's an announcement that's going to be made. But, shout out. Did you know? And I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm about to book my reservation. Dwight has a new business venture called Aspen. What is it? Urban Ski Weekend in January up in Aspen, Colorado for the 25 plus. See, this is for the girls that are coined. The professional girls that are 25 that are mature. They're able to come in with their fur and minks. Fur! Minks! Yes! Come in with their ski muffs on, you know, come in drinking hot cocoa and hot chocolate and going out on the ski and go skiing, you know, on the ramps and all that good stuff. I'm going to Aspen. I'm going to be there for the first year, 25 plus. You know, there's nothing like getting it in in the snow, honey. Yes, ma'am. Fuck making snow angels, babies. We're about to make snow babies. Get into it. <laughs> on the slopes, feeling all warm and frisky. In front of a roaring fire, sitting on a bare skin rug, to have some man no sit up on my ear, whispering sweet nothings in my ear, telling me how gorgeous and sophisticated and distinguished I am, making me feel like the woman that I know that I am. Thank you, Dwight, for a 25 plus organization that I can come in and feel at home, where I can get me a little Betty Wright, woman to woman, a Miss Natalie Cole, 
I'm catching hell. You know what I'm saying? Something to where I can feel, you know, a LaDonna Hathaway, a song for you. Ooh. A little Stevie Wonder, superstar. A little, a little Ella Fitzgerald, strange fruit. A little, I, I can't think of nobody else, shit. But, you know, the, the over 25 plus, you know. Something, something, something. Ooh, little Al Green. Hi. Mm, uh, I'm so in love with you. Mm, mm, whatever you want to do. Just come on me. Yes, come on me. Cause you make me feel so used. That was off key, but you. Oh. Never, never shit on you. And baby, I say, let's, yes, let's fuck together. <laughs> Ooh, you screwing me, weather, weather. If your dick is hard, intermediate, or soft. <laughs> okay. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Mm, that got me. Okay. <laughs> A little Sam Cook. I was fucked by the river <clears throat> in a little tent. Oh, just like that nigga sperm I've been running ever since. It was a long, a long time he was coming. But I know my period gon' come. Oh, yes, it will. It was too hard riding. Cause he's about 11 and a half. But I took it like a champ. Now I'm burning in the ass. Mm. <laughs> No, but in the ass ain't good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm, mm. Yeah. But it was a long, a long time he was coming. But I pray my period gon' come. Oh, yes, it will. Because I can't have a baby by this nigga. Because truth of the matter is, he's ugly. But the only reason I laid down with him, cause his dick came down to his knees. Oh, oh. there were times that I felt hot. He would not come at all. But he bust open him all of my walls. It was a long, a long time he was coming, but Lord Jesus let my period come. Oh, yes it will. Mm. Whew, that ministered to me. Oh, Lord. Okay, now, that's it. <laughs> now, mind you, see, this is what theater comes in. All of these songs are off the top of my head. Good, bad, or indifferent. I'm just thinking them up as I go. Ooh, that's called impromptu or improv improvisation. You know, improv. Thinking on top of your head, you know. The comedic punchline. Bada beam. All right. Anyways, my YouTubers, my actors, and my actresses, thank you all so very much for tuning in to another fabulous episode of The Audition with your host, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. I am, do I am your delectable, ah, delectable, delectable, delectable host, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. And I do thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am slobbing and speeding everywhere. I thank you for the bottom of my heart for tuning in to another fabulous episode for Sizzle Miami 2012 Part 2. Thank you so very much. You all have a blessed and prosperous day, and I look forward to seeing you in Miami. If you see me, I'm approachable. I mean, I'm not a celebrity or anything. Um, just come up and say, hey, Sebastian, I saw you on Facebook. You know, da-da-da. You know, YouTube. I'm a fan, you know. 
So, other than that, that's really about it. I will holla at y'all later. I love you. But remember, God loves you best. First. Most. All the time. Because I might hate you a little while. But, anyways, thank you for tuning in. I don't have a parting song today. I, don't, I mean, yeah. I wish I did, but I, I don't. And I don't feel like trying to find anything right now. So, ciao. Bye. Mugged. Oh, girl, I can't cut this motherfucker. Oh, okay, go.